Hi guys, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to show you how to replace your fuel filter on a diesel engine. So this is a two litre diesel engine and the fuel filters are normally located on the um, right hand side or the left as you're looking at the engine. It's pretty much the same procedure on most Volkswagen and Audi uh, two litre diesel engines. So as you can see here, this is where the fuel filter is. It's got a number of uh, screws which sit around the outside of the uh, fuel filter housing. So you will need to remove those. So on this particular fuel filter, you will need a Torx screw or Torx screwdriver uh, just to release these. These ones are not particularly that tight. Uh, some of the other ones where it uses a Torx 30 um, screw um, is a lot tighter. But these ones are generally uh, pretty easy to unscrew with a screwdriver. I just fast forward this section. After that, what you'll need is a small flat blade screwdriver. Now this will help you just uh, lever up the lid. So you don't need to lever it too much. You can see I'm just doing it just quite gently uh, just to help lift it up. And it will then just kind of pop off. So a bit on this edge. And there you go, you can see it's now it's released. So this will lift up now and the likelihood is that the fuel filter may be uh, connected to the end of it. This will just pop off so you can just pull that off. And you can see in this one there's a little rubber seal around it. And then what I tend to do is just fold this back out of the way. So you, sometimes you can just about fold it out of the way so it um, will stay in position. That just makes it easier to take the fuel filter in and out. So if we just kind of show you uh, where I've, I've put this. So there we go. You can see inside the fuel filter. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver to help lift the fuel filter out. And then what I will do is I'll just hold it up just to allow some of the fuel to uh, drain uh, drain out of it before I take it right out. You can sling it straight, straight out if you want to. There's no harm with that. I'm just going to leave it to kind of drain here whilst I get the new fuel filter ready. Just be careful not to spill any of the fuel over the auxiliary belts. Here's my new fuel filter, you can see it's nice and clean and white. Uh, it comes with a new seal, so you'll need to replace the seal. I just used this uh, old bag to pop the old fuel filter in. Now I can just pop the new one in the right way up. You can see the seal at the top. Just let that sit in and uh, that's soaking up some of the fuel and I've replaced the seal on the lid. So I'm just using a small flat blade screwdriver here to ease the seal out. put the new, new seal on just make sure it fits into the groove correctly and what I'll make sure I do is just make sure it's got a nice little coating of uh, diesel fuel around the seal to help lubricate it as I push um, the lid back on So I'll just push this down. It might be a little bit stiff. Um, just be really careful at this point that um, the seal doesn't get caught. Uh, these are quite prone for leaking after replacing uh, the fuel filter. So just be sure um, that the seal is fitted correctly. 
and then it's just a case of uh, screwing it back up you don't need to go mega tight with these I'm just using a small screwdriver so just um, screw it up until it's um, hand tight I'll just fast forward this bit Once everything's screwed up, uh, I'm, I'm just here just giving a bit of a tidy up, just clearing up any excess uh, fuel that's um, dripped over. I tend to try and clear this up as best as I can. And then once I run the engine up, I'll just check to make sure there isn't any visible signs of any uh, leakage of uh, fuel. That's it, nice and simple. Um, just takes five minutes to replace the fuel filter. Um, so yeah, give it a go. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe and uh, leave any comments. Thanks, bye.